Hello everyone, I am Devinda and in this video we will see what is Fluent CRM, what all options it offers and how you can use it to capture email addresses or build email list and send email newsletters with this plugin on your WordPress website. Now to begin with it's a free plugin so you will just go here and type in Fluent CRM and then click on install. Now once you install it it will show in the listing like this so this is the free version and this is the pro add-on for email marketing now I've kept it disabled as of now so that we can explore what all things are available in the free version or the free pack itself so the fluent CRM free plugin is installed and activated as of now and once you do that you will get this new option here called fluent CRM now this is the standard dashboard again it's empty because I've just installed it and this is where you will manage all your email contacts that email IDs that you capture this is all the place where you will create your email newsletters and templates here you will create forms to capture your email addresses and this is a little advanced stuff where you will create funnels uh, to trigger step-by-step -step action and this is settings and in email settings it's just like adding your basic information like business information email settings the two things that are important here is firstly tools like if you don't want to use this plugin in the future make sure you delete all the data from your uh, database by clicking here now if you want to continue using it make sure you have proper SMTP setup for your email sending stuff because and you need to use some SMTP plugin and connect it with Amazon SES, Mailgun or you know any transactional service of your choice. That is just for a few weeks because Fluent Team itself is launching their own free Fluent SMTP plugin. So once it's out, you can obviously use it because it will play nicer with Fluent CRM. So keep a eye for this plugin. Now let's get back. Now for starting your setting up your email stuff the first and the most important thing is you know creating an email list so if i go to all contacts there's nothing because we don't have any contact added yet so we'll first go to list and we'll create a list and say let's type master list one and click on confirm now we've created a list now let's also create a few tags for it like one could be course students other could be like ebook downloads so now we've created a list and two tags for for this now the next important thing is to create a form now fluent CRM uses fluent forms to create your subscription forms down the line more plugins support would be added but you don't need to pay for it because you can create uh, you know forms using free version of fluent forms and it works as good as you know any other non wordpress email marketing form making solution so you'll just click on you know create new form option and then you'll get three options now i already have fluent forms plugin installed if you don't you will get a prompt to install it so i'll just click here and then we'll type some title for it let's say a subscribe form we'll select the list and tag and make sure the double opt-in is enabled if you don't want idly it's recommended but if you don't want you can disable it so let's click on create form now a form has been created let's preview the form here so it's a simple form email address and subscribe button so let's close this now the next thing is we need to create a page where we can put this form so we'll go to pages add new and type in here say subscribe and let's go to the standard mode click on plus go to fluent forms select subscribe form one and then click on publish now let's see how this page looks okay ignore the header and footer so email subscribe so this is all we want now let's open this page as a visitor and then put in some email address and see how it works there okay so i have that page opened so let's type in an email address here and click on subscribe 
Now it says please confirm your subscription. So that means and go back to fluent form fluent CRM and see one contact has been added. So we'll click here. So one contact is added, but it's pending. Why? Because we have double opt-in. So I need to open my email address and click on confirmation email. So let's okay. So here is the confirmation email. So you can also configure this. Uh, what do you want to show here within the fluency CRM settings? So I'll just click here. Yes, subscribe me. Subscription confirmed. You've been added to the list. Okay, so let's close this and this and now let's refresh this. See, I'm now subscribed. I'm a member of master list and I'm subscribed now. Let's go and send emails to the subscriber, which is me, right? So obviously you can create a new email design, but let's create an email template first to see how it works. So I've clicked on new template. So let's type in email template one. And let's type in like WP weekly zero 12, whatever. And now this supports uh, your, you know, uh, blocks builder to build an email list. So let me open an email list, uh, dummy email text so that we can copy from there. Okay. So you can use this plus sign or see this. You can just type in backslash and your options will appear. So let's select headline and let's copy from here cool and now again let's type in the backslash or you can just go here and type in paragraph and for me I need just need this so here you can you know do a lot of other things you can now this is selected so you will see the paragraph option here this is selected you can see headline options here so if you want to have more options this is for the custom uh, smart fields that you have and um, backslash is for any you know text that you want so if you want to add another headline I'll copy from here and paste it here and I can set it h4 cool so let's save this template and now templates has been saved now let's go to all campaigns there's nothing we have not created any email newsletter as of now we'll just we've just created an email template so we'll create a new email so let's type in newsletter or email newsletter 01 continue and now this is a new now instead of writing and putting everything you can just click here import from library we already created this email template one and we'll just click on import so see it's here and we can just click on save and now let's continue and now this is optional if you want to add these things but before we send this email let's just test how it looks so just let's send the test email so test email has been sent okay so here is the test email that was sent now if we go if you if you remember the template it's almost like template so we either you were actually building in the blocks editor but it renders into the email form with dom elements in a proper way so this is how your email will obviously you can add logo and you can change the footer text and all that there's so many possibilities that you can do but this is the basic you know thing now in email campaigns email sequences is the option that we'll get in the pro version now once you activate it you can basically what email sequences is basically like a drip email for example a subscriber a person becomes your subscribers on day subscriber on day one and you want to send them you know a bunch of emails automatically so one the first email goes on fifth second on 10th 15 so you can set up whole schedule here and there's also the option of a b you know split testing and then funnels is also you can create the funnel here uh, 
but there are few options that would be you know available you know the advanced setup uh, the basic and intermediate setup is available in the free version but you need to have the pro version and you know when you install the pro version you will not see any change in the interface it's just you will uh, get access so this is the free or oh, pro version so when once i activate this and go here you will just start getting access to things that were mm, disabled before like email sequences now you can create your email sequence if you want and this is funnels again you can create funnels and pretty straightforward and guess what this thing works the only thing uh, when you have you know email set up on wordpress the only thing is that you need to be careful about your smtp and the repetition of the outgoing you know domain that is being used and the email address that is being used for sending emails via amazon ses infrastructure so if you've got any question regarding fluent crm let me know in the comments and i would be more than happy to answer and there's another video where i've interviewed the founder of fluent crm and he shared a lot of you know uh, information about the generally asked questions like would this work on a subdomain how easy it is what is the target audience and what all feature set it involves so all those answers are there in that and that would that link to the video will also be somewhere in the uh, description of this video so thanks for watching i hope you liked it have a good day bye bye